guys, how's it going? My name is Jewel Tolentino, and in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to resize photos quickly without losing the image quality. Okay, so this is going to be great for when you need to upload pictures onto your blog posts, which you guys should be doing, by the way. You should always be putting pictures and photos attached to your text on your blog posts. It just makes it more interesting and visually appealing for the reader. Also, when you're working with photo shoot shots, when you get them back from your photographer, they're generally going to be very, very large images to keep the quality. Because it's probably coming from their, their digital camera, which they probably set to a very large size photo. Also, this is going to be great when you're uploading profile photos. Like, let's say you go on a site and you sign up for something and they require a profile photo. They generally need the photo to be very small and each site has different specifications, but usually they are really, really tiny. Also, this is going to be great for when you're sending photos over email because, you know, you can't send, when you send large photos, either you get it bounced back or it doesn't attach at all. So that's what this is going to be great for and I might as well get into it and introduce to you Irfin View. This is what we use to do all those things I just listed right now with the uploading photos on your blog, uh, working with photo shoot shots, sending photos over email, uploading profile photos, all of that. That's what we use it for. Let's get right into it and this program is so easy to use and it's great because it's free and I'm just going to show you where to go ahead and download this. So please open your browser to Google and type in Irfan View. So it's I-R-F-A-N-V-I-E-W. And it's just going to be this first one here. And it's going to look like this. And then you're going to want to click the download button. And when I downloaded this a while ago, I believe it was the first one that I chose or either this one right here. So either of those will work. Once you've done that, you're going to want to install Earthen View on your computer. Once you've installed it, you're going to see this logo on your desktop. That's the Earthen View logo. And we're just going to test it now on one of our photo shoot shots that we got in a large size. Okay, so I'm just going to go to a folder here. This was a recent photo shoot that we did a couple of months ago. When I, I use this photo quite frequently to upload as a profile photo. And as you can see, it's 11 megs, which is huge. So we're going to use Earthen View to bring it down to a smaller size and possibly crop it. So when you've got your photo, sometimes when you double click, it'll open to Earthen View right away. If it doesn't, just right click on it, go to open with and click Earthen View. So when you do that, there's the photo right there. And you don't need to use very many options if you're wanting to just crop and resize. That's the great thing. You guys can definitely explore the many more options that Earthen View can offer to your photos, but I just use it for resizing and cropping. So when you want to resize this photo, go to resize slash resample and it's going to show you the exact width and height of this photo so this is that right there you can either type in your exact new size or you can just go over here and click the appropriate one I usually just click over here unless I specifically need it to be a certain size so all you do is either type in or click your size click OK and basically that's it. It's changed now. You've got to make sure to save it or else it'll just revert back to the original size. But let me also show you how to crop the photo. So let's say I want to crop the, the bottom part here of my stomach. So you just, you don't need to click on anything uh, initially. You just click on the photo and drag. So let's say I want to just crop the bottom part of me off. Then I would go to edit and crop selection and it just does it immediately. And if you go to resize resample, 
It did alter the width and height a little bit, but it's still a small size photo. And so the last thing you do is go to save as, or you can go save original folder if you want to override the original photo. I usually go save as to save a smaller version as well as the larger version. So you just go ahead, type it in, save it to wherever you want, and there you go. That's how you use Urfin View. So again, when you're resizing, you go to Image, Resize, Resample. That will take you to this. You choose your best option. Then if you want to crop, you just click on the photo and drag to whatever area you want to crop. And you go Edit, Crop, Selection. So this was a really quick video this time around. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really, really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos and get more tips and tricks, please subscribe to this YouTube channel or go on our website, esatinoconnections.com. You can subscribe through that way and you'll also get a free ebook from us. So that's all for this week. Thank you so much. And oh yeah, if you need any help about this or anything else, please don't hesitate to email us at info at esatinoconnections.com. Alright, thank you so much and have a good day.